fair you fair you fair you fair use okay we are going to get into tonight's main topic on the forgotten black nobility and the 13 colonies uh just a quick recap of what we discovered last week um we discussed how when war broke out over in uh europe and um, again we're speaking on when the melanated aka black uh royals were in leadership position a war broke out amongst those particular leaders and the church and specifically with uh king james said uh we are talking the catholic church so we found out that um rebellion broke out and they started to ship folks to the Americas. So particularly Brits were shipped to the Americas. And when we say Americas, we mean North America, the mainland, and also on the Caribbean islands. And this also happened in Ireland. And as a matter of fact, they were saying in 1641, that an Irish rebellion broke out and uh, the melanated folks in Ireland were literally being slaughtered and they were also being shipped over to the Americas. And uh, the, the book, again, the, the one of the main sources that we're using for this series is actually two books by uh, Lee Cummings, The Negro Question, Part 4, The Missing Link, and The Negro Question, Part 6, The 13 Black Colonies. But anyhow, um, he was stating that the Black Irish that were shipped over to the Americas, most of of Jamaica or I Maka, because we learned the week before last that the letter J did not come into existence or was not pushed until the 1700s. So anyway, Jamaica and Barbados are where most of the um, Irish men were sent. And it is believed that the Jamaicans and the Barbados of the Americas today consist of uh, Irish bloodline. Um, so, okay. It, but, but the other interesting part that we learned, because according to the book, uh, it was about 300,000 that they're documented that were shipped. So 300,000 melanated uh, Brits and Irish men that were shipped over to the Americas and uh, 20,000 Africans. Okay. And so in this book, uh, Brother Lee Cummings, he literally went to the ship manifest. And I've talked about that several times. Even here, when in the Americas, when folks are claiming to be African American, um, did you check those ship manifests to see who was coming where off of those ships? Because they have records of those, and the reason they have records of those because they want wanted to keep up with their commerce to see who needed to pay taxes on what. So that's how he got a lot of the research concerning who was being shipped where. He got it directly from those ship manifests. Okay, so this is once again proving that uh, the numbers that are thrown around about Africans being shipped over to the Americas is grossly, grossly, grossly overstated, okay? And which also proves why 
they can never produce specific ships. The manifests that we are finding are literally from Europe with, with the um, most of the folks. We're finding the manifest from Europe to the Americas and then manifest from the Americas to the um, the islands, the, the Caribbean islands, back to the Americans, uh, back to North America, rather, or between ports. So meaning going from the Carolina port going up to a New York port or a Boston port. Those are the ship manifests that we are finding moving human cargo, a.k.a. slavery. Um, We're not finding, you know, millions and millions of ship manifests from Africa to the Americas. Okay, so that's all I have for the recap. I'll pause in case sis or brother Sean. Mm. 